In the first few years of marriage, Penny lived very happily, but in recent years her husband's temper has become more and more grumpy. They had a lot of quarrels. Heavy housework and hard work took over Penny's married life. Gradually her hands become rough and her face become aged. Penny was a freedom-seeking, passionate person when she was young. Over the years, she gave up her personal life for her family, but all she reaped was not happiness. The previous diary evoked courage in Penny and she decided to fulfill the dreams of her youth and live for herself afterward. Penny prepared some necessities, took the money she had saved from her job, said goodbye to her parents and children and set off. Penny felt freedom after she left home. She went to the bustling Chinatown of San Francisco, drove over the magnificent Golden Gate Bridge, and felt the wonderful world. Penny's car had a little problem after a long drive. The repair shop needed about a day to fix it. Penny decided to stop the journey temporarily to rest in a nearby town. Gradually, Penny began to adapt the new life, traveling alone, and her clothes became more and more fashionable. During the trip, Penny became more confident and loved herself. Penny wasn't very familiar with the town as it got late. She decided to fulfill her stomach first. Repairing the car had cost a fortune before, so Penny found a cheap restaurant. Penny came in and heard someone sobbing softly. Seeing Penny, Margaret immediately wiped her tears and greeted her. The kind Penny couldn't help but ask about the situation. The family blamed her, but strangers cared about her. Margaret told Penny of her stress and pain. Penny tried her best to comfort her until Margaret smiled. This enthusiastic Margaret invited Penny to the house as a guest. She wanted to hear Penny tell the story of the journey. When they got home, they found that the more they chatted, the more speculative they become. The two had many similar interests. This excited Penny and Margaret. Penny couldn't resist inviting Margaret. She hoped that Margaret would care more about herself, that trying another life might lead to a new meaning in life. The garage called the next day and told Penny the, co the car was repaired. When the two separated, Penny told Margaret the location of the repair shop and the time of her departure. Margaret thought for a long time, since the present life is not happy, there is no need to continue to suffer. She finally decided to go with Penny. Margaret and Penny were meant to be good friends. They established a certain tacit understanding in a short period of time, caring for each other along the way. They went to Las Vegas to experience the hustle and bustle of the bustling city. They went to Antelope Canyon to experience the beauty of nature. They also went to the San Antonio pedestrian street to try the laid-back life of the small town. One day Penny and Margaret saw a little girl crying alone on a park bench. They stepped forward to care for the sad girl. Along the way they did countless things like this. The little girl named Claire, a gymnast was seriously injured in a competition that meant her dream of becoming a top gymnastic was dashed. Penny and Margaret comforted the little girl. They amused the little girl by telling funny stories about the journey and sent the girl who was shocked by grief back home. Claire went home happily. They surprised Claire's parents. They invited Penny and Margaret to their home and thanked them. As Margaret and Penny tell the stories of their travelers, Claire always forgets the sadness in reality and immerses herself in the wonderful stories and beautiful scenery. When they left, Claire returned to her depression. Penny and Margaret worried about Claire and decided to stay here for a few more days. They will try their best to untravel Claire. After the accident, Claire's parents tried everything, but they couldn't get Claire back on her feet. Claire's parents realized this might be an opportunity not to be missed. 
Claire's parents had a long conversation with Penny and Margaret and then they decided to let Claire travel with them. Hope she can rediscover the meaning of life in her journey. Stories to be continued. So till then, bye-bye.